Hello friends, my name is uh, Professor M. S. Rao. I am basically a fitness friend. Uh, I had a brain stroke in the year 2021. I have been a couple of physiotherapy exercises to get back to normalcy. I was lucky to be alive after the brain stroke. Doctors uh, thought that I would survive, but I survived because of uh, my willpower, because of uh, the positive psychology and because of the power of subconscious mind. So I took a couple of exercises to get back to the track. I was uh, born in a toxic family and grew up in a uh, toxic environment. My life is full of struggles and suffering. I have mental illness, physical, physical illness and financial illness. But I am not giving up. My philosophy in life is health first, education second and wealth third. On an average, I do physiotherapy exercises, two hours in a day, two hours in a day, I do my work, and six hours in a day, I am sitting with the internet. My, my right hand was paralyzed, I am trying my level best to get back to the normal. See, my right shoulder is numb, there is no sense to my right hand. So, so many challenges. Using blood thinner and I have to use blood thinner throughout my life. Sometimes I'm stammering, sometimes I'm forgetting of the brain stroke. I have to do physiotherapy exercises for one more year to get back to the track, to get back to the feet. <sighs> including the award we will be taking Chiri Lighting, Parvuch, the Nobel Laureate is always the Lama has written four words I live in the single bedroom of rented a flat for a decade with my wife and two sons. We had uh, so many financial challenges. Nobody came forward to support us. On the other hand, my own siblings teach and get pregnant. So many challenges. I don't have any pension. I don't get any regular income because I have offered in private colleges in the state of Telangana in India. And sometimes they don't pay well. Sometimes they don't pay salaries at all. So, this was the fate of a private educational institution in the state of Telangana, India. I don't have two wheeler, I don't have four wheeler. I still go by walk. I still belong to a lower middle class family with financial challenges, mental challenges, physical challenges. the books titled uh, Strategies to Build Rural Areas. I have dedicated to Roger Fox, Maya Angelou, and Mopra Benza, and uh, former Prasquist of India, Mr. M. Anton Adel has written a forward for this book. And I have signed up for the hashtag Green Publishing. I advocate the gender equality globally. I have written a couple of uh, articles on uh, Women Empowerment. I was a college dropout at the age of 18. I joined the and I was lucky that I joined the Air Force and uh, I came out of my toxic parents and toxic siblings at the age of 18 and I acquired a couple of uh, qualifications to provide a good education. They include DAB, BAC. MBA, PCT serial, PCTBM, MBA, and I earned my 
each of the suspects in the F of 11. So I acquired all these qualifications despite being a dyslexic, despite the ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. I am passionate about education and learning. I have read thousands of books within my lifetime. Abraham Lincoln has been my inspiration. And I follow the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi. And one of the books titled Student Letters, I have dedicated to Swam Vikaranda on the eve of one to death birthday anniversary. Like this, I have dedicated uh, books to some of the people, especially for students, because uh, I, students are very close to my heart. <coughs> Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.